Well, hello, Gemini. This reading is for you, and it's the love in general reading for the month of June or whatever we have left of June. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see what the spirits and the universe has, you know, has to say about your love in general. This is not going to resonate with all of you guys, so take only what resonates, and it could be a bit vice versa. So take only what resonates. Okay. Um, if uh, for some reason not connecting with the reading, come back some other time. It means it's not for you because there's tons of Gemini out there. But if it is connecting, I recommend you stay to the end so you can hear the messages, okay? That the universe of spirit guys has to say for you. So let's go ahead and start this. I also do private readings if anybody is interested, okay? Very affordable. Okay, let's go see here. Two more, please. I, gotta, I can say right now, Gemini, that there's uh, truth is coming out in regards to the situation, okay? Thank you, thank you. The truth is definitely coming out in regards to the situation. Okay. So... Yes, because something here has been either very toxic with somebody here or unhealthy kind of relationship going on or or it could be just an obsession towards somebody, okay? Or a controlling, a big controlling here with the devil. All right, all right, that's why I'm saying this. But somebody is trying to find, the truth is going to come out because of the justice. And But somebody is trying to find balance, okay? balance within going like you know uh meeting the other person halfway you know it's a 50 50 kind of thing but things had be a bit <laughs> okay we also have actually the princess of wands here we have you know that and that's like um hmm, a lusty kind of person free spirit person creative you know um and Yes, that could be you or the person you're dealing with, male or female, doesn't matter. We also have the Queen of Swords, male or female, doesn't matter. Somebody very intelligent, knows what they want, been there, done that, went through a lot of experience, and they're not messing around, okay? It's like, hey, you do me wrong, I'm going to cut you off in my life because I know what I want, you know? Somebody here has a set of mind, whether this is you or the person you're dealing with, okay? And, you know, they're very bold, you know, um as well okay and um resourceful kind of person okay domestic for some very domestic kind of person and so what i'm feeling here is just that somebody here knows what they want and they want things to be fair within the connection here okay but there's something going on there's a truth coming out okay um, but let's get closer because I love the clarifications here. And, ooh, ooh, okay, in reverse, four. So, yeah, the reason why the truth, I feel that's going to come out here, it, it is because I feel somebody was very, very, they had their mindset on a situation, whatever that may be, only you do know. And feeling vulnerable, their love, they were vulnerable for, for love, okay? Only the, the people get, that falls in love, they're vulnerable, right? And they take chances. They take chances. Um, they take chances. Like I said, vulnerable for love. Look at that. Somebody was just, you know, they, they love declare, they, or if they haven't yet, they will declare their love, their emotions, you know, but there's a bit of obs obsession there for somebody. And this person sweeps off your feet or you sweep them off of their feet, but I feel it's happening to you. Somebody here has very emotion, strong emotion. I feel they have to, to tell somebody, you know, it's like that kind of obsession. Uh, um, but they're afraid to lose this, this connection uh, to somebody else. So, huh. let's go 
get some more clarification. Thank you. The six of cups in reverse, but with the thing with the toxic here, with the that's being clarified with the devil, okay. Is that it's somebody who's still living in the past, okay? Being naive about a situation, being unrealistic and having a lot of expectations in the connection. All right. So there might be a, a bit of a problem with that because if that is so, if there's too many expectations, which this person is not supposed to have, okay? And still kind of living in the past. Um, this might happen, okay? The Six of Swords, which is uh, having to walk away from the unhealthy situation because somebody here is trying to find balance in regards to whatever that might be and unhealthy could be in many things many things okay and and this is also the past card for me you know this is like living in the past because it's a you know past connection kind of thing or still living in the past whatever that may mean to you but it's possible that somebody might have to relocate or move. But I feel that someone here is though moving from rough waters into calmer waters. Okay. In regard to situation here. The king of swords. We have the king of swords. So there's a king of swords and a queen of swords. Uh, you know, I feel that this connection here is actually too obsessive. I, 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 I want to say something negative, but it's not negative. It's so weird, this reading, Gemini. Because there is a lot of con love and emotions, strong emotion. But it could be just because it's more of obsession, you know. So you got to make sure that it's really love, you know. It could be maybe because it's a beginning of something here, but... But the universe just put the queen and the king of swords here, which to me, it tells me it's a match made in heaven. But even though sometimes it's a match made in heaven, it's like, it might become too strong emotion and just make sure you take things slow, okay? Um, because the king as well, like I said, the king is very bold as well. It's a leader power, very charming and courageous, you know, like the queen. So I feel that both of you have been through the same, a lot of experiences. For a lot of you might be, you know, already experienced life older, you know, uh, for some of you. Um, interesting. And then the page of pentacles. Clarified right under the king. So, um, so, somebody here is very patient within the relationship. They are being patient. They want to see, you know, how far this is, you know, hopefully things will be always good and, you know, things will get even better. You know what I'm saying? Um, but the king knows what he wants and he's planning on, on <laughs> we're going to say, raising the vibration, continue the connection. So, that's great. There's a really good news, I feel. There's some kind of news coming your way, okay, Gemini, from this person. I feel they have their mindset in regards to situation already. And I don't feel it's uh, negative, but you got to be careful with the, maybe something toxic. It could be too much alcohol or drugs, you know, or whatever. Or maybe too much sex <laughs> and all that. I guess there's nothing wrong with that, right? But I'm just saying. It could be any anything, really, when it comes to the devil, you know? Um, <laughs> yeah, but in the bottom here, I see the sun and happiness. So I feel that overall, um, you guys will find your way and, and make things work together. I feel, I feel, because both of you have a mutual kind of thing it's possible there's yeah there could be something negative that happens right but maybe going on but i don't feel it's something horrible 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 it's possible that one of you guys is a bit more controlling than the other though that could be it okay mm -hmm. 
both of you pages under the king and uh, under the queen both of you pages okay one of pentacles the other one of wands so the queen clarified with the page of wands um yeah new new creative ideas new project this queen male or female i feel like i said both of you kind of think mutually you have things in common okay and both of you see the direction both of you you know wants to go through this journey together so that's a great great thing i believe so it's possible that for some of you might even move in together if you're not living together yet okay let me tell you that with this obsession declaration of love and emotions i feel that both of you can't really be feel apart but you know feeling apart but but you need to keep things in their in their limitations and have control and balance within the connection okay that's what's telling me with the justice lit and right there next to the but there's some truth coming out too or maybe that's what it is a declaration of love even deeper who knows i hope so right maybe someone is gonna tell you how they really feel I, feel, I think both of you are gonna lay the you know the cards on the table i think both of you know know what you guys want and i believe it's each other hmm. because that's a great thing isn't it Gemini? This one's come out. wow 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 the empress creation pregnancy abundance fertility good parenting Nurturing the love and connection doesn't have to be a baby. It could be a baby coming on the way for some. So if you're planning, great. If you're not careful, <laughs> that could be the truth coming out. Who knows? But anyways, um, but it could be just about nurturing the connection. Uh, you know, someone here is very nurturing and wants to nurture, you know, um, loving and gentle. Okay, let's see what that let's get some energy reading. Let's see your energy, then the energy between you guys. Okay, let's see what your energy is, Gemini, towards uh, this love and or love in general reading your situation, whatever situation is. But the situation is, you know, I feel that I'm, with the devil there is just something that could be fixed. Okay, healer of the ages that's your energy. So, yes. So there's some healing, uh, I'm feeling some healing having to go through, whatever that may be. Because um, the healer of the ages. This is your energy, I'm not sure what that means, but you only you do. It's possible that, that somebody here needs to heal from a situation first. You need to heal from a situation, heal from something, uh, you know, finding balance, like I said, it could be, and and, and keeping things under moderation. That's your energy. Um, hmm. I'm feeling strongly that it has to do with the the the, the devil card then that's why that the healer of the ages is here okay i feel that you do want to make things really work here that's what it is and get rid of the any negativity that's you know that's might interrupt the connection what's the energy between you guys though? let's see the energy between you guys what's the energy between you guys beautiful daughter of romance both of you wants to got the same kind of emotion you see there's love there okay both of you want to go through this door of opportunity it's a mutual feeling that's great gemini you want this your person wants this okay they will let you know if they haven't yet but this is the door of romance this is like the path you guys are on the path the right path together i feel this is the person you have found the person you know um 
if for some reason your persons don't see it that way right now, it's their loss because it, that's what it is. That's, I, no, that's a mutual thing. Yep, your person sees this. I, I, it's because this is the energy between you guys. Or will be, right? Because it could be a futuristic kind of reading. So it's happening or already happened, this kind of energy. Or, you know, but I feel it's, this is the energy right now. Right now, okay? Door to Romance. What's the energy of your person right now? What's their energy? Let's see if we can either read their energy right now. Spirit guides, universe. What's Gemini's person's energy? Whoever they're dealing with, connecting with. What's their energy? One more, one more shuffle. Ooh, ooh, two. Oh my gosh. Man holding a coin. Could be man uh, or female. Doesn't matter. Okay. There's a lot of love. Your, your person, Gemini. <laughs> Look at that. Man holding a heart. Sorry, what did I say coin? Maybe a coin too, but <laughs> I don't know. Anyways, holding a heart. This person is very charming and beautiful. And they have love for you. Wow. And the yin yang also came out. So that's like, you, but you guys complete each other. It's like you can't be apart. So maybe that's why there's going to be either moving together, you guys relocating or something, but you just can't be apart. It's like you feel the completion when you're together, you know, like the one, that this is the one. It's like, you know, okay? Let's see what romance angels have to say. Let's ask any messages from the romance angels. Gemini, love in general. Whatever they're going through, what should Gemini know? What messages do we have? Oh, too many cards. Oh, I'm going to take the one that fell on top right here. This one. Soulmate. Wow, Gemini, this is actually a great reading. Yeah, you guys might have your faults with the devil. You know, it might maybe too much fun, right? I mean, but it's, it but doesn't matter. It's like you guys, like I said, your match made in heaven, and it, this is your soulmate. Yes, this is your soulmate. I actually really like this reading. It turned out to be really good. I mean, I don't even want to continue. I want to leave it like this because it looks good. I don't want to mess with it. You know what I'm saying? But. Um, yeah, guys, so that's all I got to say. If you need any private readings, don't hesitate to reach out. It's very affordable if you want to continue with this. But yeah, so there you go. This is great. Gemini, I'm happy for you. Go for it. Go for it, okay? It's worth it. Thank you, guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. The Gypsy Love Portal. Till next time. Namaste. Ciao. <laughs>